So the Sanskrit word asana is probably one of the most common terms in contemporary yoga that we, we know, um, commonly translated as the seat. Uh, but nowadays it, it's come to mean the variety of po postures or poses, whatever you want to call them, um, that are in yoga. Whereas before it was, I mean, in more hatha yoga, it was just the, the seat of meditation. Um, whereas now it seems to be that it's the, the movements and the poses that get the body ready to be able to sit in meditation. Um, but in Kashmir Shaivism, they thought slightly differently of, of this word or of the seat. Um, so in the Shiva Sutras, it's verse well, 3, 5, 16. Uh, seated in that real posture, he effortlessly dives in the ocean of nectar. So Swami Lakshmanju says, actually the postures explained uh, are not really asanas at all. Shiva Yoga is the only posture that must be understood when you are seeking to understand the real posture for such a yogi. This real posture is the supreme energy of awareness. You are seated in that posture when you hold and possess the supreme energy of awareness. Then in each and every act of your life you are aware. You are seated in that posture. This is the real asana. The physical postures called asanas are not actually asanas. These so-called asanas are only imitations of the real asana. Which may seem a bit egotistical maybe, I don't know how you, how you view that. Um, but what does it really mean? So in, I think it's in the Gita they talk of... Uh, actionless action, um, I am not the doer. So when resting in consciousness, there is actually no movement. Um, what there is, so if you think of consciousness as the seat almost, so we sit in that consciousness and all there is is experience. So it's the brain interpreting this experience as things like movement, so on and so forth. But in actuality, when resting in, in that awareness, we're actually completely still, and all there is are things like the sensations going on and so on. Um, there is actually no movement. It is just being seated effectively. Um, so yeah, that's the Kashmir Shaivism interpretation of Asna.